All right, Shalom. Want to begin the lesson by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, Waha Rakak Wadash, which in the ancient Hebrew tongue would be the correct names of the Heavenly Father, His beloved Son, and the Holy Spirit. Also, would like to give double honors to my teachers, the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Much do honors and respect to the sincere brethren out there that's also laboring in His work. And as always, when it says Shalom to the believers, you know the Akim as well as the Akwaf, which will be you brothers, as well as your sisters that subscribe to this truth as well. So yeah, just wanted to go on to another quick lesson, which in this sitting right here, as always, the focal point is Bible prophecy, which when properly vented through the Holy Spirit, directly links you to the here and now in relation to current events as they play out in real time, meaning there is nothing random or coincidental about it. In fact, for everything that has transpired here on the planet Earth throughout the ages and even into this very moment in time, well, it was all predetermined and served as nothing more than a manifestation of the thoughts of the Heavenly Father himself in which those thoughts consist of the downfall, collapse, and overall and utter destruction of this place, America, Babylon the Great. Now, what I have right here is the book of Psalms, the 92nd chapter, and beginning at the fifth verse, and it reads, O Lord, how great are thy works, and thy thoughts are very deep. Yeah, let's read this again. It says, O Lord, how great are thy works, in which those works consist of the creation itself. From the heavenly bodies to the works here on the planet Earth, the mountains and hills and rivers, lakes, ravines, the valleys, the beasts of the field, the fowls of the air, down to the creepy crawling things and every individual that dwell here on the planet earth and all the inhabitations thereof well they will serve as the works of the heavenly father but hold up it don't stop there this also includes scenarios from something as subtle as the coming and going of men to the extreme of the rise and fall of empires where they will all be considered the works of the most high Again, it says, O Lord, how great are thy works, and thy thoughts are very deep. So the works of the Heavenly Father, which in its perfection serve as the creation itself, spawn from the thoughts of the Heavenly Father. All of creation and overall life and existence itself was predetermined by a higher form of intelligence, if you will. Again, it says, O Lord, how great are thy works, and thy thoughts are very deep. A brutish man knoweth not, neither doeth a fool understand this. A brutish man knoweth not, neither doeth a fool understand this. And this applies to each and every individual outside of the realm of understanding. And in particular, these various scientists in which you had certain scientists who acknowledged the idea of a God, a creator, if you will. But they perceived that that creator pretty much hand the will over to the creation. And from hence, they would determine their own fate, which proved to be a miscalculation, if you will, and a major flaw in their reasoning seeing that the true powers of heavens and earth, the creator of all things, controls every facet pertaining to life and existence itself, down to the most sensitive of details. And their lack of understanding concerning this matter is what makes them brutish. Again, it says, A brutish man knoweth not, neither doeth a fool understand this. Understand what? The thoughts of Yahweh which is captured in the form of the Holy Scriptures. 
which has been revealed unto us believers. Matter of fact, let me grab some real quick and we're going to go back. This is the book of 1 Corinthians, the second chapter. And the 16th verse, and it reads, For who have known the mind of the Lord? For who have known the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Hamashiach. But we have the mind of Hamashiach. And how? Is the mind of Hamashiach Yahusha possessed? Well, through being able to retain this information, which is referred to as the secrets of the Most High, in which one's secrets lies within himself, his mind. So to know the secrets of Yahabashim Yahusha is likening unto knowing the mind of the Lord again. This is 1 Corinthians, the second chapter and the 16th verse. It says, For who have known the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him, but we have the mind of Hamashiach. But we have the mind of Hamashiach. So when you go back here again to the book of Psalms, the 92nd chapter, and again beginning at the fifth verse, it reads, O Lord, how great are thy works and thy thoughts are very deep, which again, those thoughts have been shared with us believers. It says, a brutish man knoweth not, neither doeth a fool understand this. So the brutish, those who operate in the flesh, they can never fully come to the understanding of the thoughts of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. And again, what does those thoughts entail? Well, let's read on, verse seven, it says, when the wicked spring as the grass, when the wicked spring as the grass, and that's the time we in. We're in a time where the wicked have sprung up. The wicked being Esau, the so-called white man. And that's pursuant to the book of Malachi, the first chapter. Where we're in the season of the wicked, where this man has indeed sprung up. Meaning this will be his time to have dominion and rule over the planet earth, which falls under the banner of the thoughts of the heavenly father. Again, it says when the wicked spring as the grass and when all the workers of iniquity do flourish, it is that they shall be destroyed forever. It is that they shall be destroyed forever. So the wicked springing forth, which again is a dark sand for Esau coming into power was only for him to be destroyed forever. For this very purpose, he has been raised up, which has the fingerprints of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh all over it. When you look back in retrospect at the works of the Heavenly Father, and in particular, ancient Egypt, where the Heavenly Father raised up Pharaoh so that he might show his power. Well, guess what? This current beast system governed over by the so-called white man, serves as nothing more than the next scene, if you will, in the theatrics of the Most High. So it's nothing this man can do to somehow upset that reality. Why? Because it serves as nothing more than the thoughts of the Heavenly Father himself. Now, to get a better feel for this concept, let's click on his word, thoughts. Yeah, and the Hebrew word here would be Macha Shabbat. Macha Shabbat. And it reads thought, device, thought, device, plan, purpose, invention, invention. So everything that has transpired here on the planet Earth throughout the ages you know, from something as subtle as the coming and going of men to the extreme of global wars. Well, it was all planned, purposed by a higher power. It's nothing more than an invention. See, when you consider creation 
itself. From the physical works of the Heavenly Father to even the scenarios that plays out here in the earthly realm, well, it was all invented and serves as nothing more than a manifestation of the thoughts of a higher power. So, yeah, I just wanted to touch on that, Lord willing. It was edifying. Till the next time I say Shalom.